What was that? Speak up. I can't hear you. Hello, I'm Isaac Whitehead Jr. and welcome to My Take YouTube channel. You know, when it seemed that there was no end to young black males being unjustly killed by police, I know you had something to say about it. When we saw an uptick in hatred, white supremacy activities that was spurred on by the leader of our nation, I know you had something to say. As we continue to experience discrimination, injustice, and inequality, I know you have something to say about it. But speak up. I can't hear you. As blacks and people of color are treated and judged by one standard, and our white counterparts are treated and judged by another, I know you have something to say about that. But speak up. I can't hear you. With the president, who has broken every rule in the book, trample on the Constitution of the United States of America, literally led an assault against our country and against our democracy, and brought our country to international shame and embarrassment. I know you have something to say. Speak up, though. I can't hear you. With local, state, federal level politicians who are complicit in the nonsense we've had to endure over the past four years, I'm sure you have something to say about that. But speak up. I can't hear you. When our country was invaded by a worldwide pandemic and the bad situation was made much worse by all the lies, the lack of information, the misinformation, deceit, and partisan politics, I'm sure that you brought something to your mind, giving you plenty to say, but speak up. I can't hear you. Well, if you haven't spoken up and spoken out, unfortunately, you have plenty of company. Far too many preachers and leaders and politicians and a host of others have been entirely too silent for far too long. When we sought for a word, we found none. When the situation screamed for attention and screamed for help, there were few replies and few responses. And when the young and gifted and black and white, Hispanic and other people of color hit the streets to speak and to stand against injustice and against corruption, they were given the three S's that many of our parents gave us. Stop. Shut up. Sit down. In spite of us trying to send them home, we are enjoying a measure of progress and a measure of success today, largely due to them, because they refuse to stop. They refuse to sit down. And they refuse to shut up. And as I recite and quote scripture, it's not just for the preacher. Yes, I believe it is, especially for the preacher, but not just for the preacher. Listen, and I say to God, thank you so much for that. There have been times that I've known preachers who wouldn't preach. And you know as well as I, that when we don't do it, God has somebody. God will use anybody and anything. He will get his message out and he will get his message through. Listen, people, your mind and your heart and your words are treasure trove of power waiting to be unleashed on a dark and dirty world. Liberty is in your mouth. Deliverance is in your mouth. Light and life is in your mouth. Proverbs 18, 20, 21 says, A man's belly shall be satisfied with the fruit of his mouth, and with the increase of his lips shall he be filled. Then it says, Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. You've heard of certain things and certain diseases being called silent killers, and that may be so. 
but silence itself is a killer. And I believe silence has claimed more lives than any disease on earth. You know, part of our contribution to the welfare and the preservation of this earth is to speak up and to speak out. Our thoughts can make a difference. Our knowledge, our wisdom are game changers. And our words and our influence can make a difference if we would only use them as we allow God to use us. As preachers, pastors, prophets, our calling requires that we cry out against the sin and the evil of our society. We ought to speak against anything and anyone that seeks to harm God's creation or circumvent his will for his people. And I will call us the keepers of society, the light of the land, watchers by day and by night that guard the city and warn of impending danger. We are the weights and counterweights that bring balance to the world in which we live. Isaiah 58 and verse 1 says, Cry aloud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet, and show my people their transgression, and the house of Jacob their sins. Listen, people of God, we don't eat at the tables of evil kings and princes, and we don't sleep with the enemy. We don't coddle and cuddle up to self-centered power addicts and evil destroyers of people. And I don't know what people mean who call themselves evangelicals. But if I considered myself one, I would be under a bed somewhere, repenting before God, begging him to cleanse me of the stench of my transgressions for dishonoring my calling, dishonoring my God by having my calling associated with the demonic madness we've seen in recent years. Isaiah 62 verses 6 and 7 says, I have set watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem, which shall never hold their peace day or night. Ye that make mention of the Lord, keep not silence and give him no rest till he establish and till he make Jerusalem a praise in the earth. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Our choice is simple. Suffer in silence and be destroyed or speak and experience freedom. I'm sorry. Did you say something? Speak up. I can't hear you. Your words could be what is needed to move us to action. Until next time, sound off. God bless you, my friend.